hello guys and welcome back to my channel in today's video we are going to make some beautiful food and very nutritious i hope you learn something new and you enjoy watching this video so let us get started over here i have my already clean chicken i'm going to marinate it so i'm going to add a teaspoon of chicken masala a teaspoon of yellow paprika and half teaspoon of turmeric and red paprika i'm going to marinate the chicken and let it rest for an hour in the refrigerator and then i'll come back and start cooking once it is done let it rest and then after an hour we are going to start cooking so i'll add a little bit of water i want it to boil with the spices this one will go for 15 minutes So while it is cooking, I'm going right ahead to start blending my uh, natural spices, this capsicum, pieces of garlic, onions, and spring onions. I like mixing both types of onions to get that right flavor. It has different type of flavor. And then I'm going to add in my tomatoes, finely chopped. We are going to blend that. That is our tomato paste now. So after 15 minutes, it has started frying. The water has already dried. So I'm going just to turn it and let it cook until it is golden brown like that. To my returning subscriber, thank you. Thank you so, so much for your amazing support. I don't take it for granted. And to the new subscribers, kindly don't forget to turn on the notification bell, like the video, and share me out as well. Look at that, guys! It's so beautiful. I like the color. So, I'm going to let this other side cook for another five minutes, as you can see has already cooked so we are going to remove them so I'll go right ahead and add my tomato and other spices the same pot i let this one cook for five minutes you want to get those natural spices and all the other spices together that's why i did not change the cooking pot so let it cook for five minutes after five minutes it's doing so well and the aroma in here is so 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 good so i'll go right ahead and add half teaspoon of salt half beef cube i don't like i don't like too much spices on my chicken I try to keep it as natural as possible so I'm going to mix that one into my tomato paste and the thick is so soup uh, is so thick and uh, it's coming along so well so I let it cook again for another five minutes and after five minutes if you see the oil on top of the paste it is a clear indication that your soup and tomato paste is perfectly boiled and this is the right time 
to go ahead and start adding your chicken remember guys it is a broiler chicken We are going to let that one cook for another seven minutes. After seven minutes, we are going to turn the other side. So when it cooks like this, the spices gets to get inside the chicken and when you eat it it is so so good because it is perfectly cooked all the flavors are in there and you will enjoy it's a very simple meal you can make it to your kids your family members or you are friends and i bet they will enjoy So I will add water half cup of water because our chicken our chicken is already cooked so I just need a little bit of water to get that soup let it cook for five minutes and it is getting ready so while that one is done I'm going right ahead to start frying my cabbages these are steamed cabbages and the best thing about steamed cabbages they are always very crunchy they have that sweetness of the natural sweetness from the cabbages and carrots so if you want to get the right flavor you add in um, salt then you add your cabbages and this, let this one cook for two minutes don't overcook it and personally I love bright colors anything with its natural color is good to go for me so you keep on turning it we will not cover it because it is steamed we are steaming it look at those beautiful colors You see the cabbage is ready you don't need to do so much so I will go right ahead and start cooking rice again I'll start with salt 